Good evening, everyone, and hope you all have had a very Merry Christmas. In today's video, I am going to introduce uh, the Season 1 Legion of Frostborn that uh, we have actually started. Uh, the clips I'm going to be uh, using here are a little bit old. Um, I was away for the holidays, so I haven't had time to uh, actually put this video together because... I really felt it was important to still cover this from day one. So uh, I did some recordings as I was playing, but never got the time to uh, put the video together. So yeah, excuse me, um, but nevertheless, it's going to uh, mean that uh, you won't have to wait too long until the second part of the Frostbound, where I will cover the, uh, the gates when they start opening, which will be in one week from this video being out. But yeah, to uh, start out then, uh, to introduce you a bit to Season 1, we uh, have a few strong contesters. Um, mainly, of course, uh, Server 241 um, being the oldest server in the cluster here. Um, it was the most attractive for, uh, yeah, basically players uh, playing in the current Season 2 now to uh, skip Season 2. Uh, meaning they would uh, use some space portals and jump uh, a bit forward to some of these uh, younger servers. And uh, this often happens, and it just so to be now that uh, you have a quite uh, large activity on 241 and uh, also a lot of very strong players. However, many of these um, are, or at least it tends uh, to be uh, free, fairly free-to-play play, uh, players, that decides to uh, kind of repeat uh, season one. And the reason for that being is that they haven't really maxed out their castles. So say they still have, uh, they finished season one, I'd say castle level 37. Um, you know, it still might be an opportunity to just repeat the whole process, be more competitive in the current season, and hereby not really max out uh, uh, until the very end of their second round of season one. Why you don't have a lot of uh, like more active and at least like light to medium and high spenders doing that is that we simply actually max out almost by the end of uh, our first round of season one. And it's just a very long time to stall yourself if you decide to uh, yeah basically repeat season one, uh, which is why it's not something I really recommend doing. Uh, I did that, for instance, on my very first account, and it was even a yeah pretty free to play account. Um, I really uh, maxed out quite uh, early on my second round of season one still, and it just meant that compared to the players I was playing with in uh, like in the older server, when we then arrived to uh, season two, you know these guys they're way ahead suddenly. And this will just keep following you because then when you come to season three, you might match up with these players again. And suddenly you will be quite far behind. So that's the reason why if you are very active or if you are willing to spend, then I really don't recommend doing this. But you always have some players who do it and it's really a way to make yourself quite competitive in season one is to repeat it. And that's what you see now in uh, server 241, why this is quite a strong contester. Um, another one worth mentioning is definitely my own server, 243. Um, so we are now a, a small mix of uh, 243 and uh, 245, as uh, I believe we were about 10 people who uh, who jumped over to 243. Um, and on top of that, you know, we decided on 243 because it was a very active server. It uh, had some really strong players as well as like just a large pool of players uh, actively uh, participating. And this is really something you need in uh, Frostborn. Um, but yeah, uh, one of the uh, the big question marks, however, is definitely server 244. Um, it's not really the most active server, I would say. Um, but what they do have is like three super strong players. I can just quickly uh, try to uh, throw it up on the screen here for you who these guys are because we are actually uh, up against them in our Throne of Supreme. So if you take a look here, um, then you can see on the rankings. Uh, so you can see that it's 
quite dominant by 243 numbers, except the top three here. That's three guys that are pretty much unbeatable for any of us. I'm not too sure if Grufk... Uh, let's take a look here, see if he is actually uh, taking up any fights with them. Yeah. Ah, but that's uh, very good news. You can see here, Grufk here, he is actually uh, having some defense victories against them. And uh, yeah, so let's just have a look here. As you can see, it's uh, pretty well developed. The shadow matches we are up against here. Uh, the dragons, yeah. These guys, they're gonna be uh, quite a tough uh, round to beat around the bush, so to speak. But yeah, so the number one and two here, they are super strong. Like I believe they have even uh, finished the uh, holy march as well. Yeah, it's almost maxed. Uh, so yeah, these are the the guys we are up against. Uh, from the side of 244, and rumors has it that they are really determined to win uh, these three players. So uh, that's going to be very interesting to see how they are going to play out. And uh, yeah, just to mention, if you are sitting from uh, server 241, 244, or any of the other servers, I won't really be giving in away any strategies or any discussions from our end, uh, just to keep things a bit interesting. We... We've kind of decided to be like a bit of a question mark in all of this to uh, wait out and see uh, what uh, the other servers intend to do as there has been a lot of uh, the, like, how to say, strategizing across the servers in this one. Um, it's mainly 241 or 244 who is like the big ifs who is going to take the win. And I know there has been a lot of uh, discussions about allegiances across. So I will... Uh, not mention any of that just to uh, really keep this thing interesting until the very very end so yeah and also really may the best man win in all this because it's super interesting for me to be with or up against some familiar names from the 257 prospects um so yeah depending on how this play out it's like either you will be a friend or a foe anyways i know we're gonna be playing uh, i'm gonna be playing with a lot of these guys in the future so that's gonna be super super fun to see now so yeah, uh, all that's left to do now is just to get our KVK started. So the early phase here is definitely just to build up a lot of thermal towers. Just uh, get your troops out, help the team, you know, uh, build up as quickly as possible, reach the cities so we can be well prepared for when the gate opens. And yeah, probably it's going to be a week from now uh, when this video comes up. I'm not sure if I will manage to upload that video on the day. So again, this could, that video could be like one or two days delayed. But uh, definitely uh, stay in touch if you're in Season 1 or if you're following along from older servers. It's just interesting to see what's uh, happening in these young servers. So yeah, like and subscribe. See you around, guys. Bye-bye.